Hi everyone, Judy from Witch Peace Craft. Um, I've got home and I have a nice surprise. My online shopping has arrived and I thought I'd open it and share it with you. Um, normally I don't buy Spotlight online, I buy at my local store. I like the staff there, they're really friendly. It's a, it's a smaller version of a big city store and they don't carry a full range or all the colourways that I want. And on the weekend, Spotlight had 50% off, especially Lion Brand, and I love Lion Brand yarns. So I went online and bought things I couldn't get locally. I don't know why there's two. It was one order, maybe they had to source something from somewhere. Um, according to one of my subscribers, Janet from New York, hi, how are you going? Um, Spotlight is like Joanne's. She's got a daughter who lives in Brisbane and she's been to Australia. Brisbane Spotlight would be much bigger than my local Spotlight. But before I open it and share my purchases with you, I'd just like to make a couple of thank yous. Firstly to Debbie at Canadian Crochet Art. She was the first podcaster to subscribe to my channel. When I only had like 10 subscribers, I think. So thanks Debbie, I really enjoy her channel. I love her sense of humour. And the products she makes and especially the patterns she sources so if you don't um, know who Debbie is Canadian Crotchta check out her channel number two this week I was finally got to see um, creative grandma live I followed her for a number of years even before I had a channel um, I, she's my go-to person when I can't remember how to do a stitch or I need to learn a new stitch and during her live uh, broadcast she called out quite a few smaller channels so thank you for that because my um, subscription membership is climbing and that was really appreciated that was very nice of you to do that Glenda so thanks and thirdly but not last today um, Jane from Scraptastic did a call out and she called out my channel and subscription went up again so thanks for that Jane I love Jane's channel um, you get a bit of everything. I love listening to her stories. I was listening to her yesterday uh, talk about and or read something out on medical marijuana. I find her really interesting and I think she has a really kind soul. So if you haven't checked out Jane from Scraptastic, please look her up on YouTube. Having said that, let's get to my shopping. Um, Okay, da -da -da -da. let's do the big opening. Let's see what's in here. So in here are my two landscapes in Metropolis, Metropolis, those two. We have the rainbowy colour here. We didn't have this colour, so that was really nice. Is. Might tell me how much else. No, nope, just says bargains galore. Can't disagree with that. I thought this is a really good buy. So, gee, they've taped it up well. Now, the beauty of this online shopping and delivery was like nine dollars in total. Didn't matter how much you bought, it was just nine dollars. So, yes, I went a little crazy. We finally got Karen Latte cakes here up in Far North Queensland, and they are so soft, and I love them. And I bought this colorway, which is pink melon. I got two of those. And I got, what colour is this? Blackberry. Yes, I like my latte cakes, as you can tell. I also got Karen cakes. Uh, this colourway is Cherry Chip. I'm thinking of doing something Rocky Road with that, like, Rocky Road Tea Cozy or something like that. A bit undone there. I also got 
Now, this is for me because I've been making cushions for my home. It's called Strawberry Ripple. I got two of those. Um, it's orange and browns. So my home has feature colour of orange. It's quite old, so it has a lot of dark brown wood in it. And yeah, I've been making new cushions. And I was too short, so I bought two more. And then, because I love baby cakes, and I couldn't get this colour, which is ballerina. I got three of those to make a baby blanket. It's really pretty. Can you see that? I really like that. Now, Debbie at Canadian Quachita was talking about a cow um, influenced by spring. If she does that, I saw this pistachio and it got me thinking about her cow and spring. So I ordered that. I'm not really a green person, but I quite like that because it is just greens and creams. I hate it when they throw like a brown in there or something that just doesn't look right. And the other thing I got was, and I love this colour, Karen Pantone, two of them. I really like this colourway. I'm not keen on many of the other colourways. Um, they don't really impress me. But these, I'm an aqua girl. I really like these colours. So I'll stack it all up and we can have a look. I don't know what I'll make with these, but I bought two of them. <laughs> In total, I probably spent about $80 and saved $80. So I'm really wrapped in that. The latte cakes, normal retail price here is $20 and they were down to $10. Everything was 50% off. And I just bought the things I wanted that I couldn't get here. So they were all my stash. I'll take a photo at the end so you can see. Now, that's not the only shopping I've been doing. And I have to be careful when I go in the bag because there are things in there I don't want you to see. So, I have been shopping for my small April giveaway, which was spread a little sparkle. So, I don't want you to see that. So, I'll be careful with what I pull out. I did go into my local spotlight. Um, my job can get me down some days with things that come across my desk and um, in my lunch hour I'll go up to Spotlight because there's a couple of staff members there that always make me laugh. They are so good. So I have bought valuable worsted weight Spotlight brand. These are for my charity crochet. Um, I do crochet for charity and they've got a lot in um, plan for that. A couple of the eight ply staff, um, stash yarn from Spotlight, um, they were like $2 a ball, these were a dollar a ball and these are for my charity crochet. Along with Big W, I went into Big W which is probably like a Walmart, from what I see on Crystal's videos it looks like a Walmart and they had some eight ply carnival soft on special but not all the colors it was set colorways it's actually a panda yarn and it's called carnival it's really soft they had lavender navy brown and a gray the nice pinks and that weren't on special they're normally four dollars a ball and they're on special for two dollars ball so that's more for my charity crochet I crochet for cancer. We have a group in Cairns called Crochet for Cancer. It's not necessarily just for cancer. We make blankets for the Opera Ward, which is the Old People's Ward. And we make, um, I've currently made two trauma teddies for the Queensland Ambulance Service. Um, I might do a video on my crochet donations for my next group meeting. So you know what we do up here. So there you go. I went a little nuts online, but boy, does it feel good. And my heart's racing. I love yarn. My son says I'm not a yarn addict. I'm a yarn junkie. I need a fix. I did promise myself my New Year's resolution was I wouldn't buy any yarn until I went away in September to Europe. 
And that lasted to about the second week of February. I went into Spotlight and bought buttons and came out with a bag of yarn. That's why he calls me a yarn junkie. He said, you were never going to make it to September. No, I wasn't. So there you go, guys. Thanks to those podcasters who gave us small podcasters a call out. It's really appreciated by me and others that I'm in touch with. And I hope you have a crafty day. Thanks for watching my videos. Give it a thumbs up if you like it. Subscribe and keep in touch. That way um, I have more yarn adventures to come. Thanks a lot. Bye.